We've just had a weekend of highly charged political rallies across Brazil, not least here in Rio, where the sense of fear and loathing on both sides has been palpable. This has been an utterly toxic presidential contest, exposing deep divisions within Brazilian society. But then, of course, so much is at stake here for the world's fourth largest democracy. If dancing could help swing elections, then in Rio this weekend, those desperate to thwart the rise of the far-right populist Jair Bolsonaro were giving it their all. I'm here today because I believe in the democracy and I, I don't want uh, that kind of guy to be the president of my country. That kind of guy is the 63-year-old ex-paratrooper Jair Bolsonaro. Pro-gun, pro-austerity, anti-Paris climate agreement, anti-abortion. Once a sideshow in Brazilian politics, now centre stage. The provocateur politician who says he'd be incapable of loving a gay child and who refuses to support equal pay legislation. I think that a lot of people is afraid. And who is not afraid is because they are not understanding that maybe it's not a, a dangerous for them now, but it will be. Not him, not him. Not him, others shouted in the signature anti-Bolsonaro refrain of a largely women-led social media movement. But if not him, then who? This man, Fernando Haddad, the Workers' Party candidate, the intellectual left-winger intent upon reversing Brazil's austerity agenda and Bolsonaro's dramatic rise. What do you think Haddad stands for that Bolsonaro doesn't? everything <laughs> but mainly he is willing to fight this huge inequality that exists here in brazil and he is with poor people and yet poverty is part of her dad's problem his party once fated in the boom years now blamed for the deep economic crisis which has followed but for those here bolsonaro's solutions are deeply troubling I think democracy is at risk in, 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 everywhere in the world. In all the Western countries, democracy is at risk. And di digital media is not helping. So it's not only a problem from Brazil. You can see the same thing in the United States and you can see the same thing in Europe. If we don't collectively do something right now, I don't know what's going to happen. It's when you hear such utter disdain for what Jair Bolsonaro stands for and consider the list of communities he so blatantly offended, you do wonder how it is he's so far ahead in the polls. The latest puts him 20 points ahead of Haddad. The military fly pass over Copacabana Beach yesterday indulging the naked ambition of Brazil's conservatives who gathered draped in the colours of country and oozing self-confidence to send the world a message. Bolsonaro's coming, and here's why. We need him now in Brazil, because Brazil has been suffering with corruption and the PT, the, the, the Lula and everything, for more than 14 years, I think. So we need someone that loves Brazil, loves people, and do something. Lula da Silva, she mentions, parodied mercilessly here. The former left-wing Workers' Party president, once so popular, now languishing in a jail on corruption charges. This is a country weary of political scandals. Out PT! We hate PT! Why do you hate the other party? Because they, 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 they took our, our things, they took our jobs, they took our education, they took our... Our health, we don't have anything more. Ou vão pra fora, ou vão pra cadeia. Bolsonaro himself posted this on social media yesterday. A message to a rally in which he warns political opponents to leave the country or face prison. Like Curitiba. His incendiary rhetoric, Trump of the tropics, signature gun-toting image, is finding an eager audience in Brazil, old and young. We want equality between different uh, social places. We want jobs. We want our money like safe. We don't want corrupt politicians. We want Brazil to have an infrastructure. We want a future. So that's why Jair Bolsonaro is the best choice. A generation now perhaps on the verge of being swept along 
in what many consider Brazil's political tsunami. For Haddad then and the Workers' Party, who've been campaigning hard on addressing social inequality issues, human rights and boosting public spending, they face an absolutely mammoth task if they're to rein Bolsonaro in before Monday's vote. 